All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up your M game solo with OBS and the GeForce Experience or Shadowplay. So you want to go into your sound settings, just search it up here, or if it pops up, just click on it. Click on sound settings, go to output device, make sure it's set to system, and then for input device, make sure it's set to stream. And then for advanced sound options, click on app volume and device preferences. And then make sure your Discord output and input are both set to chat. And if Discord is not showing up on this list, make sure you have it open so that it can show up on this list. And then if you have a game open as well currently, you want to change the output, which is the first bar, to game. You could also do this in the game's sound settings. I've tried this with Overwatch 2 and Valorant. And they both had the option for game as the sound option or sound output rather. Then after that, you want to go into the M game software. For setup, you want to make sure that phantom power is on for condenser mics. If you have a dynamic mic, turn it off. If you have a cloud lifter or fed head or something like that for your dynamic mic, then make sure phantom power is on. For equalizer, compressor, and noise gate, I don't use them, but you could mess around with them and try them out yourself. And then there's also mic boost if you need that. Now routing, all of these were on initially, but I turned some of them off. And the reason for that is because M-Game instructs you to go to settings, go to audio, and then disable your desktop audio, and make your mic stream. And so... I use OBS filters, and I don't want these filters to be applied to my game, my chat, my sampler, and my system sounds. So I dedicated my stream channel for my mic on OBS. And then what I did was I added an audio input capture, which is right here. I changed the device to my alt channel. And so basically if I play a song right now, you'll be able to hear it. So you're able to hear it. And if we look at the software, here's my alt channel right here. I turned off the mic so it doesn't echo. But my game volume is there. My chat volume is there. My sampler and my system sounds. Now there's also sliders. And to get the slider option, you just want to right click an icon and click on virtual fader mode. Now an example for why you would want to use virtual fader mode is let's say you're playing an FPS game and you want to listen to footsteps but not hear uh, music in the background. And your chat wants to hear music, right? So you can mute your music on the hardware itself, like the mute button, the actual mute button, and then leave virtual fader mode on at 100% or whatever percent and your stream will still be able to hear your system sounds or music. So I think that's a cool option to have for a streamer. But yeah, I mean, it, it depends on what you want. If you don't care, if you just want to mute the music for everyone, just click on basic mode. Now for sampler, I don't even know what this is for. So I just dedicated it to my GeForce or Shadowplay. So I went to my mic settings right here. And I changed the mic source to sampler. So as you can see, GeForce does pick up your system sounds. But since M-Game has a dedicated game chat or channel, like I showed earlier, and a chat channel, then it doesn't pick those up, at least not for me. So what I did was I made the mic source sampler, since I have no other use for it. And I made it pick up my mic, game chat, or game channel, and then my chat channel... A sampler and then I muted the system sound since GeForce is already picking up my system sounds. For main output, I don't use this. I think this is for the dual. If you have like a stream PC or something, I don't know. I couldn't find a channel for it, so I just left it as is. Currently not using it. And then for headphones, this is just the mic monitoring, I think. I just right clicked it, changed to virtual fader mode. And I changed the volume depending on how loud I could hear myself through the mic, the mic monitoring option. And then for sampler, you just drag it. Pretty self-explanatory. 
You have two banks, six buttons. If six is not enough, you can also just play whatever through here. And then as long as you have it routed through your chat and Discord or stream, whatever, make sure sampler is on. It will play no matter what. They'll be able to hear it. Now for effects, you want to just drag it here and it'll work. And then for LEDs, I made everything brighter red because it was initially a darker shade of red and it was hard to see. So you can make it brighter. And then for bank two, I made it a darker shade of red just so I could distinguish between bank one and bank two. And then there's also an option to make the active have a pulsing effect. And having that pulsing effect lets me know when my mic is muted or not. So when it's muted, it's pulsing. When it's not muted, it's just a static red. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. I'll try my best to help out. But yeah, thanks for watching.